Hey guys, today we're going to be putting in heated seats into this Ram. You'll get, you get two heating elements, one for the legs and then one for the back. And you can cut it side to side. You cannot cut it front to back. It's kind of like when you're looking at Christmas lights in series. Same idea. If you take out one bulb, the whole thing doesn't work. So we can cut it this side to get the length proper because every seat's going to be different. The nice thing is it has a pre-wired harness for us and it also comes with a fuse holder as well. A lot of the tools you'll see in today's video are pretty common that you're going to come across in a normal toolbox. However, you will need some specialty tools. You're going to need hog ring pliers and you're also going to need mini bolt cutters. You could use other types of cutters to do the job, but I find that these mini bolt cutters are way more efficient and do a much better job of cutting out the hog rings. Now here's how the hog ring pliers work. You can see that it holds it in place and you can see that's pocketed. That way you only have to focus on putting it onto the rail. So all we have to do is compress it. And this will now hold on to our upholstery and our seat. So this Ram is relatively well featured. It's got the bigger screen, cloth seats, but it has power everything. Customer wants a little bit more comfort, so we're gonna put heated seats in so it's a little more comfortable in those mornings. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna disconnect the negative terminal on the battery. Next, we have to unbolt the seats. Now we can disconnect any wire harness that we need to and we can start to release the seat material. Now the rams are pretty forgiving, we do not have to pull the seat out of the vehicle. If you do not have enough room, you're going to want to tape up everything and remove the seat. Next you have to find all the hog rings, I'm going to use my mini bolt cutters. Next we figure out how long we need it to be and then we go ahead and cut it to length. So when cutting we can cut across to get rid of our length. Do not cut front to back or lengthwise because then the heated element will not work. Then we can run our wire inside the seat. Once you have the placement where you need it to be, make sure it's as far back as possible because you have to put the fabric back and you have to get the hog rings in there. So if it's coming up over here, you don't want this in the way. So in order to put the fabric back down, we have to reinstall the hog rings. So we have to use hog ring pliers and hog rings specifically. And we're going to push down all the way we can. We're going to squeeze it together. And before you let go, make sure the whole seat moves with it. Then you can take it off and then just keep repeating the process for all of them that you took out. Repeat the same process for the back of the seat. And run all your wiring with all the factory wiring. Drill a hole for your control switch and press it in. And here's our wiring under the seat, all ran with the factory wiring with our relay mounted. And for ground, we're soldering onto a factory grounding point. Then I find a good switch source that's either fused or I install a fuse on top. All taped to blend, and we've hidden our fuse under the seat and our ground's all soldered up and insulated. So when you're all done, the seat should be able to move and all your wiring will move with the factory wiring. Quick tip, because the factory bolts are equipped with thread lock, I reapplied thread lock blue to make sure that they don't back out. And before we deliver it to the customer, we double check and we actually view it through our heat camera to make sure that the heating element is working properly. And there you guys have it, that's how I do a basic heated seats. One.